show you now a rare look. This is inside the eye of the storm. Isn't this incredible? A U.S. Air Force Reserve crew, they're known as the Hurricane Hunters, they flew through the eye of Hurricane Melissa to collect data for the National Hurricane Center. It's unbelievable. Direct landfall of this storm has been delayed a bit, but it is expected to hit any time. After hitting Jamaica, it will impact Cuba, then head toward the Bahamas. But for more on where this storm is headed and the impact right now, let's head over to Kels. Lindsay, so this, this video that you're just sharing is just incredible. I want to go back to it, if we can, because what you're looking at, that void in the middle of the hurricane, that's the eye, but that eye wall, this, right here, that band of cloud, that is the most significant, severe thunderstorm within the hurricane itself. Within the eye, you have sinking air, and as that air is rushed upwards through that eye wall, that is where the most devastating impacts of the hurricane will be. So let's come back to the green screen here. This is our radar and satellite, and you can see the size of this storm in comparison to Jamaica. Now this is expected to make landfall on the western side of the island. So think Montego Bay. That's where it's headed almost directly towards. But when you break down a hurricane into its four quadrants, when you divide it as if you have a line straight north, south, and then east, west, the most devastating impacts of that storm will be in the northeast quadrant. That's where we see the strongest storm surge and the strongest winds as well. So coming up within your full weather forecast, I will track this through. It could, Lindsay, make landfall three times before it moves its way up toward Canadian water. Back to you. Wow, pretty